Hey everybody, this is Evan with Scholarway Marketing. Today's quick tip video is going to be how you can create a Facebook or Instagram lead capture, non-listing, multi-image carousel ad. So welcome to the new paid ads experience. Uh, when creating this type of ad, you will be targeting both Facebook and Instagram and featuring either an image or a video. So this is a lead capture ad, which means when a consumer clicks on the ad, they will potentially be captured as the lead using the Facebook lead form and then sent to a website or landing page of your choice. So before you can run the ad, you must first connect your Facebook business page with the proper permissions and add a credit card on file. Uh, you do have the ability to set lead settings for captured leads, including auto tagging, auto assigning to smart plans, and or the ability to um, auto assign lead to a lead route. That's if you are using the team account to run the ad um, once the lead pulls into command. So to create the uh, Facebook, Instagram lead capture ad, you're first going to need to go to your command account, agent.kw.com and log in using your KW username and password. So from here, if you are wanting to use your run, do, I'm sorry, if you are wanting to set this up using your team account, you will want to make sure you go ahead and switch over to your team account at this time by clicking on the drop down and then selecting the team account, which should show right over here somewhere. And then vice versa, if you're wanting to make sure you're doing it in the personal, just make sure you're in your personal account as well. Now, if you are using the team account, make sure that you um, do have either enhanced or unlimited permissions. And um, you will not be able to set this up if you do not have either enhanced or limited permissions with the team account. So after we um, make sure that we are in the correct account, we're gonna go right over here to the left-hand side toolbar and we're gonna go ahead and click on campaigns. Looks like the megaphone. Now, from the campaigns dashboard, we're gonna go ahead and click on paid ad quick start. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and select the ad labeled uh, non-listing multi-image carousel includes Facebook lead form. All right, so in the uh, Facebook, I'm sorry, in the Facebook page section, select the connected Facebook business page. You want to be linked to your ad. So you're going to click on this little drop down and make sure you select the Facebook page that you have. You should already have linked to your account. All right, in the targeting section. You're going to select the location you want to target with the ad and the targeting radius. So you can do postal code or region. And then you can select your targeting rate, uh, radius. Um, the lowest radius is 15 miles. So custom location, um, enter one or more custom locations to target, which could be a specific address or location like a park or landmark, a neighborhood, a postal code, a city, or even an entire state. So you can do multiple zip codes. Um, you could also do You can also type in the city name, but we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then you can also adjust the radius here. So if I wanted to make it more, you can just slide it over, or you can even click on this and type in the number. All right, so in the media type section below this, below the targeting, um, select and upload at least two images with a max of five images. So you're going to go ahead and click on um, the image one. As you see, image one, image two, they do show that there is a required field. So we're going to click on that. I do have already um, added a couple of images to the media assets. 
which you can do so by clicking add new media. And then you can click upload from your device or you can drag and drop them in from your device folder as well. And once you upload them here, they will automatically add over here and then you can go ahead and select them. Go. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the second one. If you did, wanted to replace it, you were able to click remove or you can simply select it again and change it out. Now, scrolling down in the text section, uh, we do need to personalize the body text. Um, there is a 255 character limit and headline, which is 125 character limit. Um, you can also click on the um, when you have, when you hover over the section, there is an emoji option that you can add as well. So you do. So this is Atlanta, by the way. Um, and then headline. So for the headline, um. And can even add. And this is just for example. Scrolling down, you do have your post lead submission destination. Um, so this is going to be the um, landing page or the experience following a customer's lead submission. Um, so if you are running the ad in your team account, select if you want to add captured leads directly to a lead route um, you have already created. Oh, I'm sorry, I was skipping ahead of myself here. Um, so for the post lead submission destination, um, you can choose to enter the URL. Um, and this is gonna be the URL to any website um, here, including your KW agent site. Um, a listings detail page from your website or any third party page that you want linked here. Or you can click on the landing page and use the drop down to select the landing page that you have already created within command. Next, we have our lead settings. So, this is where you can customize how leads are managed and tagged. So again, so um, the lead routes, if you are running at the team ad in your team command account, select if you want to add captured leads directly to a lead route you have already created. Leads will come in from the ad with the Facebook ad lead. Uh, lead source, you will only be able to choose from lead routes that include that specific lead source. So tags, choose whether you want to add a tag or multiple tags when the lead is captured in command. So you can create a new tag. Smart plans, choose whether or not you want to add the lead directly to a smart plan or multiple smart plans once the lead is captured in command. Now in the compliance section, um, add your Mark Center's DBA logo and select whether you want to include an ownership statement. If this is your first ad, click select from library. Click the Add New Media tab and select the logo and then click Confirm and Close. The next ad you create, the logo will be in the media library ready to select. And if you want to include my ownership statement, you can use the pre-populated text or edit. Once you are um, have everything filled out, you are happy with everything, um, now you see, you can go ahead and click on proceed to last step. And then it is going to um, finalize everything for you and make sure you are ready to send. Guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'll be more than happy to assist you. Have a great day.